Does your immune actually work? Part two. Today we're going to look at a larger study. This study is from Spain, published last year, which tracked 1,104 women who had three or more UTIs in 12 months. They received the standard sublingual urimmune spray, two doses daily under the tongue for three months, and were followed up at three, six, and 12 months to see how many UTIs they had. Participants were split into two groups, depending on how many UTIs they had per year at their baseline. Three to four, they were in group one, and if it was five or more, they were in group two. Effectiveness of the vaccine vaccine was defined as having zero to two UTIs during the follow-up. At three months, 92% had less or equal to two UTIs. At six months, it was 82%. And at 12 months, 58% remained at low risk. Group one consistently did better than group two, indicating that fewer baseline infections equals better outcomes. Results were statistically significant with a p-value of less than 0.05. Both this week's and last week's studies show similar rates of UTI-free or low UTI status at 12 months. The benefits of this week's study include that it is a large sample size and it has a multi-center design. Limitations include that there is no control or placebo group. There is no randomization, so it's possible selection bias. And this study still focuses on uncomplicated UTI in women. Results may not apply to complex cases or other populations. Euromune's benefits hold up in large real-world cohorts, especially for those with fewer baseline UTIs. Let us know your experience with UTI vaccines in the comments. And as always, if you like this no-nonsense breakdown of papers, follow us for all things UTI and pelvic health.